Hi, I'm Mary from Mary Mary Stories and uh, I want to welcome you back to my channel. Uh, today I want to share with you a very simple pattern for a scarf I made for my husband. And um, it's a simple pattern, it's a four row repeat knitting pattern. Uh, I know I don't usually show knitting patterns, but do know I do, I do knit. It's a um, wide scarf, uh, which is not exactly reversible, but uh, the two sides are pretty similar. So I considered it a, a good pattern to make a scarf. And I uh, have uh, knitted a border uh, at the end and um, at the beginning. And uh, I now show you the two sides side by side so you can understand if it's different or not. I use the special uh, iron from Stylecraft, which is a very soft and nice yarn. And uh, I use uh, a 10.5 US needles, that is 7 millimeter um, simple needles. I used to uh, knit with um, circular needles, but there is no need for this. So make your first uh, loop and you have to cast on uh, 50 stitches. The low for this um, uh, for this pattern uh, requires uh, a multiple of 4 plus 2 stitches. Uh, so, multiple of 4 plus 2 is um, 46 uh, stitches and after this uh, I 46 and 8, no, um, I added 8 stitches to create a um, garter stitch border at the beginning and at the end. So you may cast on 50 stitches as I did, but you may cast on if you want it less wide than uh, 30 centimeters, you can cast on uh, 46. You're in your first row, you have to uh, knit all stitches. I told you that finished uh, finished measurements for that shawl is scarf is 31 centimeters uh, width and 160 centimeters uh, long length. So you need all stitches till the end uh, of the row. I'm knitting my last stitch of first row. And you should always turn your work and hold your uh, the the needle with the stitches with your right, uh, left hand if you are a right-handed person, and you take the empty needle with your right hand and start uh, all over again making row 2 and uh, knitting all stitches as well. For 10 rows I worked a garter stitch uh, that is knit um, all rows. You may also pair all rows if that is uh, more easy to you. It creates the same result as a knitting pattern. Uh, I called it a Nordic men's scarf but uh, of course, we can wear it as well. It's for women or for children. And the border um, at the uh, end, at the beginning, it's totally um, up to you if you want to make it or not. So row three, I forgot to tell you that I slip the first stitch in every row pairwise. And this creates a tighter uh, edge and I continue knitting all stitches. I believe you're going to find it easy and uh, beautiful to make it for a person you love. So this is uh, the starting um, border.
let's uh, continue knitting last stitch for this row you can try and uh, count these ridges that are created by garter stitch and every ridge uh, consists of two rows so if you find out to have five ridges you have uh, knitted 10 rows let's go and start row one of our pattern so if uh, you follow this pattern and if you are making the border two you have to uh, knit the first four stitches and knit all stitches in this first row so row one is knit all stitches from the beginning to the end knit all stitches it ha so happens that we knit also the border so it's very a very simple row for row two turn your work and uh, you have to knit the first four stitches and the four, four last stitches of the row and pair all stitches in between so knit one knit two knit three knit four then bring the yarn the yarn to the front and we're going to pair all stitches till uh, last four stitches which we're going to knit let's take it slow and pair i believe this is a very friendly beginner's pattern and um, it's it's an easy pattern to follow especially the first two rows are very simple is a knitting row and a purling row and after this we have a repeat of knit to purl two and for row four it's the reverse purl to knit two so we are uh, working our row number two and we have purled all uh, stitches now we have the four last stitches that create our border and we have to knit these stitches one two three and four and this is it for the moment turn and we have to work row number three for row number three slip the first stitch pairwise to create a tidy edge and knit the second knit the third one knit the fourth one and after this we have a repeat of this knit two purl two uh, we're going to knit this till last six stitches take it slow this uh, row if you uh, don't make any mistake uh, after this it's going to be easy in the second four repeat it's going to be easier so purl two you have to repeat like a, a children's song need to purl two need to purl two this is what i do in my mind especially when someone speaks and interrupts my concentration which is not very easy are starting a new project per two and yarn to the back and knit two yarn in front and per two to the back again and knit two stitches we have two stitches left from our main stitches and we have to three four five six now we have six six stitches so after our repeat knit two per two we have to knit the two last stitches of our main pattern and knit four last stitches for our border in total at the end after repeat knit two per two we have to um, knit six stitches 
now we have to work row number five it's the last uh, row of our pattern again slip the first stitch for a tight edge and knit the second knit the third one and knit the fourth one and our repeat for this row is per two knit two so bring the yarn to the front and purl next two stitches yarn in back and knit next two stitches and repeat this uh, till you have six stitches left so purl, uh, purl two knit two you have to end with knit two and we have six stitches left we have purl two knit two so we have to purl two stitches to um, finish to end our uh, main pattern so at the end when we have six stitches in row number four purl two and knit four for our border and this is the end of our pattern so again you have to repeat row number one which is a knit row row number two which is a purl row row number three which is a repeat knit two per two and uh, row number four which is a purl two knit two to create these beautiful ridges of uh, knitted and uh, purled stitches and now i'm gonna give you some tips uh, so you won't be uh, confused when you are knitting and you are in the middle of your work and someone talks to you and interrupts your concentration and you don't know what to do to find out what you're going to do first of all I, I'm going to show you this edge that is created by slipping the first stitch uh, pairwise and every um, stitch is a two row uh, creation so you can see we have to knit the first stitches after this knit the next stitches as we see there is a, lo uh, a long uh, column let's say of knitted stitches and after this the next ridge has a repeat of two purl stitches in a row and two knit stitches in the row there you can find the secret for this pattern and very easily you will understand when you have already made two purl stitches that it's time to knit two stitches in that column i'm gonna give you some examples uh, while knitting what to do so it's easier for you well let's say we don't know in which row we are and we slip the first stitch and we knit the second one the third one and the fourth one now what to do in what row uh, I am in front of me I can see a column with uh, pearl stitches and after this you have to check you have two knitted stitches in a row so in this row I have to make a repeat of purl two knit two let's start with a purl two so we keep this column purling and I have to purl those stitches sorry it's not a knit two purl two because I have to change uh, the two knitted stitches into two purl stitches sorry for my mistake now hold it after knitting the four stitches of border we have to knit two stitches and then we have two stitches in a row to knitted stitches so we have to purl so knit two purl two it's what we have to do in this row knit two and after this you see I have to change and create the different pattern I hope these small tips is useful to you 
you may ask me anything about this pattern and you can find this pattern written on my blog uh, with all details the gauge the measurements and uh, all you need to make it right I hope you like this pattern you make it for someone you love and uh, or for yourself it's a nice idea for a gift Christmas uh, thank